everyone, as you can see, I have Clone Captain Rex, and this is Rex from Star Wars The Bad Batch. It is a Walmart exclusive that I did not think I was going to be able to get. I was not able to make it in the initial pre-order, but recently Walmart had it up for sale, so I was happy to be able to pick it up. As you can see, the box is definitely a little beat up, so I'm glad I'm an opener. So, what we're going to do today is take a look at the outside of this box. We're going to go ahead and unbox Rex. Take a look at his articulation, take some pictures, come back, talk about some of the things we liked and or disliked about the figure. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. Um, as you can see, we've got the, the Crimson Bad Batch um, going across the, the, the front there. Uh, then we've got the, uh, the mural of Rex there. I think that's an awesome looking mural. And then on the back, you can see this is no uh, Rex is number six in the Bad Batch. And it says, Clone Captain Rex served the Republic during the Clone Wars. He viewed military service as an honor, and he always completed his mission. All right, and then we've got the mural on the back there as well. So let's go ahead and unbox Rex. Uh, I don't know how much of the knife I'm going to need to use because of how badly this got beat up. Um, just a note, uh, this did come from Walmart, uh, and it was in a plastic bag <laughs> rather than in a box. That is the way I've been getting things from Walmart recently. Again, glad that I am an opener, because otherwise I would be really upset. Um, Alright, so, got the figure here. Blaster number one. There, piece of tape there, and blaster number two. Now, I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be very similar to other versions of Rex that we've received in the past. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We've got Rex here. Uh, taking a look at the helmet, it looks like uh, we have some damage here on the... Uh, the viewfinder, I'm going to have to fix that later. Um, probably heat that up and then it'll hopefully pop right back in. It's not fitting exactly the way I'd want it to. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. At least I got Rex. I'm happy I got him, but uh, yeah. Anyways. All right. So let's take a look at the blasters. They're just the typical Rex blasters. They're very plain. Would have expected more. Um, look at the articulation. Uh, head all the way down. Head all the way up. No real tilt. head tilt, which makes me think this is definitely just a reissue of the original. Arms, pretty decent. You know, I'm actually okay with the what, what they ended up doing with the cloth, but... Uh, I don't usually like their soft goods, but I think for this figure, it's the right thing to do. Um, elbows, got the 90, which is good. And got all these marks, um, which is awesome for, for Rex there. Uh, we've got a, should be a left, right, I believe. Yep, left, right on this one. And this guy is an up, down torso. Again, normal Rex, and that's our knee bend. So, that is the articulation on the figure. Um, you know, if we take a closer look at the helmet, that's what we've got. There, there we go, that'll probably be better for you. Uh, so, uh, like I said, so far, definitely an issue here. If you guys received your helmet for Rex like that as well, let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious if anybody else had that same problem. Um, like I said, I will basically heat this up and hopefully that'll fix that problem moving forward. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take some pictures and we'll come back and talk about maybe some of the things that we, we learned about the figure, maybe some things that we liked and or disliked about it. You know, taking a look at it, you know, we definitely have some, uh, s some damage or, uh, weathering on the armor here so we'll see how that is picked up on the camera again i'm liking what they did with the soft goods uh this could have been so much worse than it actually is i was expecting it to be all the same color i'm glad that it's not so 
Good job, at least on that, Hasbro. All right, so I will be right back. Let's take some pictures and we'll talk about what we learned. So that was a good look at Clone Captain Rex. Uh, basically, if it is Rex, I'm probably going to buy him. And uh, I think Hasbro knows that for everyone else as well. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's basically the same figure that we've already gotten, except we've got the cloak now um, from the Bad Batch. But it is basically the same figure. I'm a little disappointed. Actually, I'm a lot disappointed by the visor. Um, but other than that, it's a good figure. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you received this figure, did, was your box as battered as mine? And did you, was your, uh, figure damaged like mine was as well? That, that is a question that I, I'm really curious about. Um, anyways, uh, but, uh, as far as articulation, it's the articulation that we already know. Um, it's a great looking figure. He's gonna look great with all the other Bad Batch figures, so happy to add him to the shelf. Uh, so anyways, if you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you do not already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do lots of things on the channel that a professional geek might find interesting, including lots of things for Star Wars and Star Wars The Black Series, obviously, but we also do other things as well, like going to theme parks, home automation, electronics, gaming, and that sort of thing as well. So if any of that interests you, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a great day.